You never know what's coming your way with Ladybug Adventures. I bring you mouse traps, archery videos, car cam videos, DIY projects, and computer builds. Don't forget to subscribe. Well, a while ago I uploaded this video where I put a PS3, I mean a computer in a PS3, and unfortunately I destroyed it. It was a um, socket 775 motherboard, and unfortunately uh, the motherboard and the CPU were both, uh, they went bad. So I decided, you know, I was really proud of this particular build and I wanted to just upgrade it instead of having it uh, be just this empty shell in my, ho in my home. Uh, I had Ubuntu running on it really well, streaming videos and also playing some really basic games like Open Arena on it, a uh, great first person shooter. One upgrade I definitely wanted to do was put an SSD in it and I didn't want to use an expensive one because I knew I was going to be running a, an Ubuntu uh, type OS. A Linux type OS so I decided you know what let's go with the cheapest SSD I could find for 32 gigabytes and uh, it revived this laptop so hey I figured it's good enough for this it'll be good enough for my PS3 so time to take it apart one of the things I'm really proud about with the PS3 build is that you know you in order to take it apart or put it back together you're using all the same hardware and all the same screws that you would normally So this is what we're rocking in the system now. Like I said, it's an A6, I think 5400K. Uh, we have a 270 watt power supply, FM2 mini ITX motherboard. We have a variable speed fan controller for the exhaust. And like I said, this is the mechanical hard drive. We have the HyperX, four gigabytes of uh, 1600 megahertz DDR3 memory. Uh, we have the capability of putting a uh, graphics card in there but again there's just no room to put it in there without cutting into the case so I haven't done that. This is a great little motherboard that you can upgrade um, into an A10 series or any other FM2 uh, series so uh, any of the Athlons say uh, times four uh, you'll need a better cooler to handle the heat that would come out of the uh, Athlon. Really, we're just here to swap out the uh, hard drive. So this is a sad, slow 5400 uh, RPM hard drive that I just had to take out because it's brutally slow. So this is the cheapest SSD I could find at the time for 32 gigabytes. And why 32? Because the Linux will run easily with much less than that. But um, I just wanted to have a little bit of wiggle room to add some programs, uh, etc. on it if I wanted. If I'm going to put anything more, I'm going to use an external drive. Also, this is primarily going to be my daughter's computer and she's not really going to be downloading a lot on there at all. Well, there she is. So she's in there and hooked up. Now I just gotta put the operating system in and that's it. And for the operating system I'm going back with the 16.04 point whatever it is now, point three or something. Now that I got everything loaded up I just, these are the specs on what's in the computer right now. It's closing time. And for me, I just like how clean it looks and how, you know, nothing protrudes or sticks out. The only re only way you could find out that it wasn't a PlayStation was that, well, it uh, doesn't look like that from the rear end. And one of the main reasons putting the SSD in is, of course, to see how quickly it can boot up. And if you look at the time here, it's not that bad for the cheapest SSD that I could get. Uh, the load up time is actually really good and programs are running really well. And Ubuntu is no longer the lightweight OS uh, that it used to be. Um, so this is pretty impressive. You should expect similar times I think with uh, loading up Windows. 
Now, a comment I consistently get is, why are you using Ubuntu? Why don't you use this? Or why don't you use that other Linux um, uh, OS? And, uh, you know, this article is actually really good, so go check it out. You know, there's so many types of Linux uh, OSs out there, and I prefer to use it, uh, the one that I have right now, because, number one, it's free. Uh, the hardware that I have in there can handle it right now and the full Ubuntu instead of using something like Lubuntu which is lighter weight and easier uh, on older hardware it's familiar to me and I have a kid who's using this computer who doesn't really like to game so it's not like I need to load windows and caught pay some money to load windows on or anything like that um, so Linux uh, or a Linux distribution is for me right now I have a great little package in there right now it's able to run uh, YouTube videos at uh, 1080p no problem uh, it uses quite a bit of resource for the CPU and it's only a dual core but uh, it's fairly modern and the speeds are up to snuff the motherboard I think I got on sale uh, for around $80 and the CPU I already had and that's only around $30 so that's not too bad. Thanks for watching and I'm just gonna put a little card up in the top right hand corner of one of my latest traps the mason jar mouse trap. Uh, it's working really great and uh, so please check it out and I will see you in the next video. What I'm